This is K Critiques. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of K Critiques where we discuss all things South African television and today we are discussing a new series called Spinners Season 1 Episode 1 and let us just get straight into it. This series centers around our main protagonist, Ethan, who is involved in gang activities. Not really sure what his age is, it hasn't been mentioned yet. But the reason why he's involved in these gang activities is because their mom abandoned him and his brother, Byron. He's doing all of this to get money to to be able to sustain them and look after his brother. And he's somebody that we can root for. He's not totally over the edge. He's not totally violent. So there's still something that we as the audience can see and actually root for him. So this episode or this series opens up with a shootout. And I'm like, what is happening right now? Like, I thought the show was about people spinning cars. Why are we having shootouts right now? But then they decide to backtrack to one day earlier where we see Ethan taking Byron to school. He drops his brother off and then he changes out of his school uniform so i think he wears the school uniform in order to keep up the rules with his brother so that his brother doesn't know that he doesn't go to school so that he has a semblance of normalcy around him right and then we meet tony and hercules who are also some gang members as well they are going to do a pickup from this guy named peter when they arrive there peter's like where's damien I thought we were going to talk money because we have a money issue, but it was actually a cover because he wanted Damien to be in the car because he actually sold them out to their rivals, Vernon and Lester. So it was basically an assassination. So now obviously Damien, who's actually the kingpin, is so furious that he wants to send a message they decide that they're gonna use vernon and lester's little brother called clanky so they want to use clanky to send a message so they wanted to shoot clanky but then ethan because ethan is close with clanky and his mom tenzi he's like no they're probably not gonna fall for it because they don't really like the brother they would actually be happy that the brother is unalived damon is like okay since you know Glenki and you're close with him, come and bring him to me. So when they come, Damien decides that he is going to use Glenki to get into enemy territory and actually for Glenki to shoot one of his brothers. Obviously, Glenki has a bit of um, a grudge against his brothers because his brothers, they call him retarded. They don't really like him. They're always teasing him. And we did see some of that when he actually goes into enemy territory. So now Clanky is inside. He's like, I have some inside information on you. They want to shoot you. They want to kill you and attack you. And Clanky takes out the gun and shoots one of his brothers in the stomach then he runs away while he's running away they actually gun him down he was still alive and ethan actually tries to help him takes him back and damien's like why did you bring this guy back i told you to leave him there ethan is like please damien just help him like and then what because now he's gonna be a witness and he's gonna be the one to tell everything we can't have a loose end right and damien actually shoots clanky and clanky dies damien is so cruel to a point where he knows that ethan is close with clanky and his mom and judging from the fact that ethan saved clanky and is trying to get him to live he's like okay so you're close with him I want you to be the one to go and dump his body. What type of ruthlessness is this? What type of evil is this? That this person, instead of asking maybe your Tony or Hercules to be the one to dump the body because they don't have an attachment to Clanky, you ask Ethan to be the one who dumps Clanky's body. That is evil. It's going to come back to bite them in the butt because Ethan is going to build a resentment towards Damien. So Ethan is devastated, but he does go and dump the body. And this guy, he takes 
Clanky's necklace that is engraved by his mother, a personalized necklace. He takes it and he keeps it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is going to come back to bite us in the butt later on in the season i just already know ethan is going to jail that's all i'm gonna say ethan you are gonna go to jail because why did you take that necklace you're taking evidence and you can't rat damien's crew out because they're gonna kill you so you're gonna take the fall for killing clinky as he's running away he actually goes into this random house and hides out in a broken car and that's where we meet shane shane i think is gonna be another of our main characters he's into spinning hence the title he's the one who's gonna introduce ethan into the spinning life he's the mechanic they're part of a crew and it's gonna be a new interest that we actually introduce to he takes ethan to a spinning contest at the spinning contest he sees the sport in its full form and its beauty and then we meet amber as well amber is spinning pro she just came back from a gig in johannesburg and she was killing it out there let me tell you i was literally screaming when i saw her do the tricks especially when the car was still spinning and she was sitting on top of the car i was literally mind blown and it was literally just amazing like it's invigorating it's and guess who came back ethan and byron's mom is back she's like i'm clean i started a program in paul at this church and it helped and i have a feeling that she said this more than five times to a point where ethan is just like i don't care if it helped you i do not want you in this house you do not belong here so get out but obviously byron's like no it's my mommy like kids kids still need that validation from parents kids still feel like oh i love my mommy mommy loves me no until she actually cleans up her act and stays sober for maybe a year then she can come back she's gonna leave them again and then he's gonna be disappointed again so ethan is doing this for byron but byron still doesn't understand that mommy's not gonna change anytime soon because i have a feeling that their mother's gonna relapse and go back to drugs but anyways, that's the sad reality of addiction. Anyway, so now they're having this interrogation with Peter. They're trying to figure out why he sold him out. He's like, please, Damien, they threatened my family. But apparently he was lying. And Damien is so many. I feel like we're going to be bashing Damien every single chance we get. He's so manipulative to a point and so evil to a point where Ethan has never unalived anybody. But he gives Ethan the gun and is like, do it for Clanky. Shoot Peter right now and kill him. He's the reason why Clanky is dead. And it's like, no, the reason why Clanky is dead is because of you. You're the one who shot Clanky. You're the one who didn't want to help Clanky because Clanky was still alive. And then you're going to tell Ethan that he's killing somebody for clanky ethan decides not to do it then damien's like yeah i was doing that for you i wanted you to remind yourself that you're not a killer blah 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 and i'm just like what in the manipulation what in the gaslighting is happening right now but <laughs> but anyways uh at the interrogation we see damien sort of stumble and fall and also when he's in his house he actually collapses and i'm hoping that he's no longer living like i'm hoping because that's going to be a perfect escape for ethan because if damien is no longer there there's no more gang and he can easily just go into spinning and carry on living his life but i doubt that's going to be the case but i'm really hoping for it and yeah guys that was spinners season one episode one and i'm not even gonna lie i actually like the series i like the series this episode kept me captivated throughout it's a new and fresh storyline and i feel like spinning as a sport is finally getting like representation not only as a hobby or something with negative connotations but it's going to be viewed as something that can change somebody's life it's going to be viewed as an actual sport that is being taken seriously like the representation that's happening here it's portraying the sad realities of the things that happen in cape town as well with the gang violence and all of that where people are getting killed every day because of gang violence you know territories rivalry and stuff like that 
those are the sad realities that are not being portrayed and i feel like this is going to bring or shed a light on those issues so i'm really really excited and i can't wait to see where it goes how ethan is going to enter into the spinning space i still feel like this necklace that has ethan's fingerprints all over it is going to get them into trouble and that he is going to go to jail i just hope that he doesn't put shane and the rest of the crew amber and everyone in danger but i have a feeling that that's gonna happen at some point but yeah guys that is my review of spinner season one episode one please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and i will see you in the next episode